എങ്ങനെയാണ് സിവിൽ സർവീസസ് പരീക്ഷ പാസ്സാക്കേണ്ടത് എന്നുള്ള ഒരു ചോദ്യത്തിന് മറു ചോദ്യം എന്തിനാണ് നിങ്ങൾ സിവിൽ സർവീസസ് പരീക്ഷ പാസ്സാക്കേണ്ടത് എന്നുള്ള ചോദ്യമാണ് ആ ചോദ്യത്തിന് ഉത്തരം കണ്ടെത്താൻ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് സ്വയം സാധിച്ചു എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് എങ്ങനെയാണ് പാസ്സാക്കേണ്ടത് എന്നുള്ളത് നിങ്ങൾ സ്വയം ഇന്ററാക്ഷൻ <laughs> completely negligible as long as you are convinced that you have your life stuff it's perfectly fine because each one to his own uh, each one to her own you devise your own mechanisms to ensure that you have your life your time and um, coming to the second question as to how you face those darts thrown at you from different directions I think it's important to have a good support system. Partly because this is not a one day examination. It is not a single instance where you have to perform well. But it is a series of events where you have to repeatedly perform well. That doesn't happen in all examinations. You know, meet exam or IIT exam or you know, CA exam or any exam you take in the country. You, know, you might have one, two, three, max, four papers. That's it, right? You don't have examinations which are stretched over six months. But I used to write the exams. It was actually the first attempt. It was over one year. After that, you know, they at least reduce the time period, and now it's, it runs over six months to go, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, no other exam is stretched over six months, and you have to prepare for it prior to that, which altogether makes it a minimum period of one year. That's the minimum period. but it can run into several years so we are talking about performance which continues over several years and your consistency is important you know you might not reach your peak performance in a day or two or even a month or two sometimes you will still have gaps to be filled in and so you know consistency is a key word there and to be consistent several factors have to fall in place it is not just about having the right resources or the right material in your hands it is not only about making the right choices but also being in the right environment i think that is very important so um, you know for me i decided that you know my most comfortable place is going to be my hometown so i decided to be in london despite a lot of uh, suggestions that it could be better to be located in delhi or some other place you know where you have an authentic coaching center which is churn sound or all sorts of things but uh, you know i thought i knew better about myself that i would fit in perfectly into uh, a place where i am used to and i'm comfortable so i decided to um, not comply with those advice and decided to stay back home that was one thing second aspect of environment so one is you know the physical environment that we are talking about the second aspect of environment i would say is to surround yourself with people who would help you imbibe positive energy from you now that might be a tough one to ask um, but definitely you will be able to find those people you know if you have um, go to the teacher you know like uh, she herself who's is out you know positivity from every self for body so um you find people like that to be surrounded with and when you spend time with them even if they are not directly related to your civil service preparation when you spend time with people who can you know help you gain that positive energy from them you know, help facilitate that exchange of energy between you all i think that goes a long way in civil service preparation to keep up your stability So I was really fortunate enough to find these amazing teachers. I really owe a lot to my teachers. Guru Teji's uncle was my teacher, Ambassador Teji Shrinivas. 
So you know, he was there, uh, Dr. Bang Paul was there, and several Dr. Alexander Jacob was there, several Dr. Mohammed Sparrow was there, a lot of civil servants, a lot of uh, even Dr. Shashi Karun was there. There were a lot of people around me in Vandal whom I could, you know, probably just drop in by for a conversation, you know, and feel good about being myself or you know, feel validated. Somehow at that point of time, validation does become necessary. It's not something that we talk about often because we keep saying that, you know, if I have decided that this is my life, so I'm going to decide this. You can say it in words, but when you go through that experience, sometimes validation is required. And when it comes from people who matter, it definitely makes a change. So, you know, try and try and build your tribe then. You know, it could be your friends, it could be your family, they could be your teachers, or, you know, they could just be even pen pals. When I spoke about Pico Ayer, I think, you know, I read one of his books during that time and I just shot him an email. And, uh, you know, I remember there was something so magical that happened. I don't know if I have ever talked about this ever, but uh, so you know, um, we were we were pen pals in that sense. You know, we used to exchange emails about random you know, things, probably philosophies of life or journeys or you know uh, things like that. And uh, you know, every word of his had such an impact on me that I decided to read more and more. But we would exchange e emails very infrequently, probably once a month or so, but that was enough to sort of sustain the next month's, you know, barrel of thoughts. And uh, you wouldn't believe there was, you know, um, in my uh, final attempt of civil services, when I actually cracked the IAs, um, one of the first papers was the English paper. We have language papers also in there, right? So. We sat in for the English paper, and the first um, page that was a you know a, a four-page long comprehension. So that was a really long comprehension. Right? Usually, the comprehension and pressy writing is not deemed the easiest when it comes to UPS. You must have seen the press papers, right? This it used to be quite complex at those times. I haven't seen the last couple of years English papers though. So, um, you know, I sat in there and I could hear whispers, you know, in the room stating, oh my God, what is this, you know, I'm not able to figure out sort of. And people were uh, a bit lost looking at that passage of comprehension. And um, so, you know, it, it takes a lot of time to read and understand that, right? And then you finally answer like four questions or five questions and then you keep thinking, oh my God, I have to read five pages to answer these five little questions. You know, that's the kind of agony that you're at that point in time. And I got the present paper in my hand and uh, you know, I saw it. And the first page, I read the first line and boom, you know, I knew those four pages by heart. It was an article by Pico Ayer that had actually appeared on our comprehension paper. Okay. <laughs> it was uh, yeah, it was an article which he had written in the Atlantic magazine called the Atlantic and they had written this article called The Joy of Quiet. Okay. Um, so having read that I think you should be with it sir. Um, it's a very beautifully articulated article where he talks about how the IT revolution has come and without an information manual and you know how people actually go to black hole resorts to gain their sanity back. But at that point of time it was rather new a concept. Now a lot of people talk about it. But he was one of those you know, hardware girls of that concept at that point of time. So, you know, when you suddenly begin the term, the joy of quiet is a little, you know, unsettling for a common reader, right? So, um, you know, at that level, the article was a little complex to, to actually sit down in an exam hall and read it according and it for the first time. It's a relaxed, joyous read, you know, where you can actually sit outside and uh, with a slight whisper of rain and wind and sit and wait, it's that kind of an article. So, I saw this and you know, I could actually, literally I could jump onto the questions without even reading a word of it because I almost knew it by heart. I had read it so many times just because I loved his writing, not because of anything else. So, you know, that experience to me that was like a great 
message or a great sign or a great omen or you know, whatever you want to call it. And that day I knew that I have to clean civil services this time. You can call me crazy. Um, but I knew that this is going to happen. Because I'm sure nobody else would have actually had that amount of familiarity with an article. You know, nobody else who had written UPSC that year would have had that amount of familiarity with an article. I'm, I'm dead sure about that. So, you know, so some magical things like that happens. You know, sometimes, I'm not trying to say that, you know, that comprehension saved me. You know, and I'm not talking in that mundane level, but, you know, surrounding yourself with people who can actually help you garner that positive energy and, you know, helps you keep yourself stable and sane for the rest of your space. That is quite So, you know, the place, the people and the things they do. Those are the three things I would say, you know, rely upon to create a robust support system. The things that you do, I think I will answer only one question if I keep talking, so I will cut short my answer. The things that you do, I think, you know, you guys are already doing a lot of things as I can see, you know, from dance to poetry to traveling to writing to, um, so indulge. Indulge in things that make you feel good. You know, these are things which you should do apart from studying. So during the year when I actually got into civil services that year, though my home was in London itself, I had a family, I had a home there. But you know, I said I want to lead a slightly different life. So I actually stayed in a hostel that year. And my house was like three kilometers away from the hostel. <laughs> so that was something radical to do that point of time, which added to the questions. There was already a slurry of questions as you can imagine. And now your daughter is also staying away from you, so my poor parents had to face those questions also. You know, unmarried daughter who has uh, left a lucrative profession which has earned her lakhs of rupees by this time, is coming here and staying here without a job, trying for this uncertain realm, and now she has left your house also. You know, so <laughs> that draws to a lot of conclusions at the point of say. Actually speaking, to be very honest, I didn't face any of them. My parents did. And it wasn't the easiest time for them, it wasn't the sweetest time for them, and it wasn't the time that they enjoyed a lot either. But if somebody is ready to take on that off your shoulder, that is the best way to escape it. Trust me, there is no need to convince everybody around you. So it was also an escape mechanism for me you know, to avoid these questions also that I decided to stay away. But staying away in that place had its own benefits because you know, it was, it was sort of a toughness for me at that point of time. And in all sense, you know, my dietary patterns changed, my sleep pattern changed, my reading habits changed. Um, you know, I, I used to, I remember the, you know, the, the time of the day that I enjoyed the most during those days was when you know, we have uh, what we call as low chili here. I'm sure Chennai has uh, much more than Kerala does, right? And the bar is cut off in the evenings and the current goes off. So in darkness, we used to have half an hour of checking at that point of time and all power will be cut off. And uh, you know, so we uh, so in the hostel it was obviously a girls' hostel, so you know I used to gather some of our colleagues and you know, students who were preparing for civil service and we used to light lamps and tears and I used to take yoga classes for them during that time in the dark. So you know, those that half an hour was regularly spent in yoga, actually. So it was sort of a you know, blessing in disguise. And uh, so you know, we, we actually came up with a lot of things like that, which which would make us feel good and which would make us feel empowered. So device something on your own, I think that's the best thing.